I want to know who was at the meeting where they talked about dancing guys, middle-aged dancing guys in commercials, because I've had enough of it. Um, this is so funny, Dave. I, I, um, I first noticed in a um, Wayfair commercial. Yeah. Um, so this was like 2017, I think. And so the Wayfair commercial starts out, it's actually well done. Uh, the Wayfair commercial starts out with this, with this seductive, sultry tune and a visual design worthy of James Bond's opening credits. And it's this, you know, this, this middle-aged guy with a dad bod and a utility belt dancing away uh, to this sultry song. Um, and uh, he's the, he's the handy, handyman hero of the of the ad. Actually, very very well done ad, just production wise and everything. And then I noticed a uh, an Arby's commercial had a balding and busy <laughs> spectacle. Yes, <laughs> Arby's uh, Arby chef dancing and singing in monotone as he prepares a sandwich. And then of course the pharmaceuticals got in on the action. Uh, goalie. Uh, nutrition gummies. Jim is breezing by at work no, as people you. are celebrating a birthday, cutting and cravings. someone shouts out, "Jim! <laughs> Jim, <laughs> want some cake?" Nope. Jim's cutting down on his cravings thanks to Goli apple cider vinegar gummies. That's still on. Yeah, it is. Uh, <laughs> Vasipa opens with a middle-aged guy dancing to, to the celebrate. to the Go Go's. Uh, we got the beat. Um, I guess Vasipa actually helped prevent history. heart attacks and strokes. Although I, you know, I wouldn't have got it from the commercial. Volt Volterin uh, has a middle-aged guy sliding on the dance floor with a voiceover of a woman saying, "With Volterin arthritis pain gel, my husband's got his moves back." And then there's Metamucil, who. Uh, oh, throws in a gratuitous middle-aged dancing guy right in the middle of their commercial for no apparent reason. Uh, Moxie, a musical shower head commercial, features a meaty middle-aged dancing guy naked in the shower. Gross. Stop. Gross. Uh, Grubhub has a commercial with a fat middle-aged guy dancing, but has the common de decency to make the commercial a cartoon, so it's not nearly as annoying. <laughs> but I know that the the whole dancing guy thing, I know it has jumped the, the shark because I saw um, recently a local realtor featuring middle-aged dancing guys um, in the guy's name, the realtor's name is Chris Lindahl, and everybody in the commercial is doing the Lindahl. So they're all <laughs> dancing, and it's, yeah, it's it's just, it's it's over, folks. Okay, <laughs> enough with the middle-aged dancing guys. But Wayfair was the smartest of the bunch. I mean, as I said, it was high, high production value. It was um, it was a well-done commercial, and I, um, I thought it was kind of odd till um, I fixed I fixed uh, uh, Pam's car's Bluetooth. It was acting acting up. I found a YouTube video and figured out how to fix it. After I fixed it, she's like, "That's pretty sexy." I'm like, "What? <laughs> <laughs> Fixing something? Did you dance? Sexy? I didn't dance, but <laughs> I I guess that's where Wayfair did some consumer insight research and and found that women find handymen sexy for some reason. Um, so <laughs> at well, least at are, least it was based Pam's on some right. at least it was based on some insights there. So there you go.